What's going on YouTube? We are back with another Call of Duty video. And today I'm going to give you guys the best settings to use in the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I've used these settings for about 3 days now and I have not crashed and also my FPS has gone up significantly from before. So I'll walk through all the settings that I use and I'll put a little gameplay after. So if you guys do enjoy this video, if it helped you guys out a little bit, please do me a favor. Leave a like on the video and also hit that sub button so you guys don't miss out on any other Call of Duty videos. So I hope you guys enjoy. See you guys in the next one. Peace. So under the graphics settings, we're going to go over to display first. These are pretty self-explanatory. I think these are usually the same for about everybody. I do know for your display mode, if you have it on full screen exclusive, you'll get more frames. I have it on full screen borderless because I'm tabbing in and out a lot while I'm live on stream, switching music, switching scenes and all that stuff. So if you're not worried about that and you're trying to get the highest frames possible, have this full screen exclusive. This will be the only setting I won't have on that I'm going to tell you guys to put on. Then obviously your display monitor is going to be the one that you use. Dynamic resolution I have off. And then your aspect ratio, I just have it on automatic. I'm pretty sure that's default. I honestly have no idea what that does. I'm going to be completely honest. Then for the V-Sync gameplay and menus, I both have off. And then for your custom frame rate, switch it to custom. And then go to the show more. And then for the in-game, I have it at as high as you can go. So you want to max out the frames you're going to get. And then for the menu frame rate, I just have it at 60. Because when you're in the menu anyways, it doesn't really matter about how many frames you have. And then your autofocus frame rate limit, I have as 30. Because when you're tabbed out, it doesn't really matter again with how many frames you have. So I just have that at 30. And then I'm just going to scroll through these. I'm pretty sure these are also just all default settings. I didn't really touch these. The display settings are kind of boring, but the quality is where you're going to get the most frames. So that's going to be the most important tab in this. So we're going to switch on over to quality. For the quality presets, you want to obviously have it as custom. Then for your render resolution, I have it at 100. I had it on 100 back on Modern Warfare 2019 and on Warzone. Um, you can crank it up if you want, but if you want the most frames, I just put it at 100 because it still looks nice. Obviously, it's 1920 by 1080, so it's going to look good. Then for the upscaling and sharpening, I have it on Fidel Cast. And then for the show more, I have it at 75. I know some people have it up at 80, but I found 75 just works best for me. So you can switch in and out and see what works for you. And for the anti-aliasing, I have it on the SMAAT2X. Um, again, this is another setting I don't really know much about, but between the two, this gave me the most frames and the better in-game performance. For the anti-aliasing quality, I have on low. You can put it on normal, but low, it still looks the same as normal, and you get better frames having it at low. And then for the scale, I have it on 80. This is another one just like up here. I've seen some people have it at 75, some 80. 80 worked best for me, so you can, again, switch in and out between those two and see what works for you. And here are the settings that mean the most. I'm pretty sure for everyone default, these are all set on, like, high or super high. Um, some of them you can keep high because they don't really affect the frames too much, but there's some key ones in here that if you don't switch off, it's going to highly impact your frames and get you lower frames. And then for these settings, I'm not really going to explain them because I feel like you guys don't really care. You just want to have good frames. So I'm going to slowly scroll through these and just let you guys copy them down. And uh, yeah. Now I'm going to come in here and explain this setting because this is probably the, one of the most important ones to have off. Because while you're in game, it's going to be downloading textures and stuff to your game. And honestly, why would you have that? That just means it's going to kill your frames. So make sure you have this off. If you have this on, this is probably the main reason why people have lower frames. So make sure you have this off. This is probably one of the most important settings that I have checked off. Now this is another one, streaming quality. I have it as low. You can have it on normal, but it looks exactly the same as if you have it on low. Um, the physics quality I have off and the water I have off. I mean, again, it's just, it looks nice, but if you want the best frames, turn these off. And with the shadow map resolution, this is another one. I haven't had normal. I think the preset's extra. And honestly, to me, I haven't noticed any difference switching it from extra to normal. Screen space shadows, I have it off. This is just detail in the shadows. Spot shadow quality, I have is low. Again, if you're having this at normal, it doesn't really matter about these shadow settings. Because if you have it low, again, you don't really notice a difference. Particle lighting, I have at low. Honestly, again, this is another one of those settings. It kind of eats up your memory and eats up your frames. And having it on low, honestly, again, I haven't noticed a difference between high, I think it was the preset. Ambient occlusion, this is just how objects interact each other and make shadows. Again, this is another setting that doesn't really matter and just eats frames, so I have it as off. Screen space, I have off. Static reflection, I have low. Weather grid volumes, I have low. These three settings, again, I don't really know much about these three, but these have just worked the best for me. And for NVIDIA Reflex, low latency, I have as on. Some people have on plus boost. Honestly, this is another setting you're going to have to test yourself between on and on plus boost. Um, on just works better for me frame-wise. It might be the boost one for you, so test those two out. Depth of field, world, and weapon blur. I have these all off. These don't really eat your frames. These are just kind of preference. Um, I don't like any of the blur features in this game, so I just have them all off. The film grain I have at 0.25. I think this is the default setting. Um, this is another one that I haven't touched and my frames are fine, so I recommend 0.25. 
So that does it for all my graphics settings. I'm going to attach a gameplay right after this so you guys can kind of see what it looks like in-game and see the frames and everything. But that will do it for my graphics settings. If this did help you guys out, please do me a favor, leave a like on the video and comment down below. I hope this helped you guys out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.